We're now going to perform an ankle brachial pressure index test. This is the kit that we commonly use, uh, an appropriately sized adult blood pressure cuff, some coupling gel, a handheld Doppler unit and some documentation to record the results. The patient for this examination is lying flat and has been rested for a few minutes. blood pressure cuff is placed around the patient's upper arm, about two centimetres gap between the elbow crease and the bottom of the cuff, wrapped in a parallel fashion around the arm. The arm is kept to the patient's side, the same height as the heart. Coupling gel is applied to the brachial crease. The pulse is located with the handheld, handheld Doppler unit. The hand is anchored onto the arm. And the cuff is inflated. The probe is angled about 45 to 60 degrees to the artery. The cuff is inflated until 20 millimetres of blood pressure above the last audible reading and then deflated slowly. About 2 millimetres of pressure per second on the deflation. And then the cuff is fully deflated rapidly. The result is recorded on the pro forma. And now the second brachial reading is taken. For the sake of the ABPI, we will be using the highest of the two brachial readings as the reference point. Again, the cuff is placed parallel wrapped around the upper arm, about two centimeters above the elbow crease. Cuffs are deflated slowly until the first audible signal is heard. That reading will be used for the right brachial systolic pressure. And again, the result is recorded prior to commencing with the ankle pressures. The cuff is placed around the lower leg, parallel wrapped again as best as possible, with the bottom of the cuff about two centimetres above the malleolus. The anterior tibial artery is located deflated slowly until the first audible signal is heard. The cuff is fully deflated and now the post-tibial artery is located.
again the hand is anchored firmly on the foot so that it doesn't slip off the pulse. And again the results are recorded. Both legs are measured during an ABPI. Strongest signal is located. And the hand is anchored again on the foot to prevent slippage of the artery. Deflation at about 2 millimeters of pressure per second. The test is now complete after the result is recorded.